Good evening boys and girls and welcome to another new week. Yes, we have seven more achievements for you guys. And uh, of course, like I said last week, we are going to continue on Crash Bandicoot, the insane trilogy. Um, unfortunately, there's only one achievement we can really sort of continue on on this one. I was hoping there was quite a few more, but unfortunately not. Uh, there is a few easy ones sort of on one and two, uh, but it does require actually... Uh, working your way through uh, some of the levels to even get there so unfortunately it can't be in the weekly video uh, so we've got just the one the crash bandicoot warped number three uh, we're going to get that one uh, and then we're just going to mix it up a bit this week i think uh, for the remainder of the achievements so a few different games a few different games this week and uh yeah but nonetheless we can still continue we can still get those seven quick and easy achievements and that's what it's all about so if you don't follow the channel, please do. And uh, of course, uh, please check out all my other videos. We do 100% uh, guides, achievements and stuff, and there will be more achievements coming. I've got some future plans for um, for the weeklies, so we don't just have this weekly. I do want to get some more achievements out every week. Uh, so hopefully that's going to be a thing very soon. Uh, hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, leave a comment, leave some feedback any issues you find anything that's wrong with my videos please do not hesitate to let me know uh, if you need help with the game of course if you're stuck on any part again leave a message in the comments below and i'll do my best to help you guys out uh, so let's get started and uh, again we're just going to start on crash 3 so the third one over here i'm going to start a brand new game override the save because i've already uh, played a little bit Again, there are some more achievements on this, so if you do enjoy the game uh, and you want to continue, then uh, by all means, continue, grab some more achievements. Uh, they're not too difficult, they're just time consuming, so they're not quick and easy, basically. All right, so here you'll start off in this little, whatever you want to call it, one of the warp zones. You just want to head over to this like small area that you see in the distance, just head to number one. And once that portal, Toad Village pops up, just walk straight into it. And we can get the, get the game rocking and rolling. Super duper easy, this one. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to do anything on it. You can grab, obviously, all the boxes and stuff on your way through. I all you need to do is follow the map. For this one, we're heading for the bonus level. So just follow it through. Nice and easy. Again, if you want to grab these stuff, that's up to you. Always grab the checkpoint, so if you do die or anything, you can always come back. Nice. Get them apples. And just keep going all the way through, past the uh, past the toad there. Past the guy uh, with the sword. Fling him out of the way. And just past the guy with the sword, you will see we have... Uh, this little platform with the uh, question mark on the top just jump straight on the top of there and boom Shankar that's going to give you the taking the scenic route that's basically to discover uh, a bonus path and this is just going to give you uh, all the bonus stuff so that's the first achievement out of the way again we're going to skip to a new game now uh, so let's go ahead and do that Alrighty, so for this next game, we are playing one of my favorite series. Yes, it's the Doom series. Uh, we're going to be playing Doom 1 and 2, uh, just come to Game Pass. Uh, these are relatively easy uh, if you've got them on easy mode and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to get two achievements in this one. So uh, we're going to start with the second achievement, uh, the second achievement of this video, that is. Uh, and we're only going to play Doom here. So just click on Doom when you get to this menu. This is your menu and all your options. You've got Doom 1 at the top, Doom Tom, Doom Tom, Doom 2 <laughs> at the bottom there. Uh, just click on Doom 1 and then click it again and it'll bring up this menu. Now, uh, you do have a few mods you can add to this and uh, you can also modify the levels. But uh, I'm not sure if that will affect achievements. So do bear that one in mind. If they're not popping with mods off, mods on, turn them off and, um, and you'll be good to rock and roll. So all you want to do here is click the single player. And then instead of a new game, choose level select. And then from here, you want to switch Hurt Me Plenty to the easy level. I'm too young to die. You want the level to be E1, M1, Hangar. And then you want the episode Knee Deep in the Dead. 
Again, there's difficulty modifiers here that you can see. We can actually turn all the monsters off and stuff, but we don't want to touch any of those, so... Uh, just start the game. And so there is a few more achievements we can actually get in this, uh, but I know a lot of you guys don't like to play these sort of FPS games. Uh, some of you are not that great with this sort of thing, um, and I understand that. Um, so I will point out a couple of achievements you can get along the way. Uh, but otherwise, we're just going to get the two in this one. We're going to start with this one. So immediately, just head to the left side. and just took these steps here. Grab this suit of armor at the top there. Gives us 100% armor. Not that we really need it. This is too easy anyway. And then we started over this side. Just want to head over this little blue patch. And when we get through the blue door, there's going to be uh, a couple of enemies. And all you need to do is just point in the direction of the enemies. This gun will not go up or down. It's like proper old school. Open the door. I was only like one enemy because we've got it on the lowest difficulty. There's usually two there. Just aim and shoot basically. Grab his ammo if you wish. There'll be another one here, maybe. There you go. And then the monster up there, you can get him from there. Literally just uh, get a bit closer there. Literally just aim for him. Yeah, obviously we can't point up, so just line it up. Try not to get hit like me, but like I said, we've got 98% armor left, so it does nothing. And then just, uh, there's sometimes a few enemies, so if you've got it on a harder difficulty, there's a few enemies here. And just walk all the way through. Now this next door, there's going to be another one of those monsters. Just plant it with bullets like so. Spam that, spam that weapon. You can use uh, the barrel as well to uh, kill it if you want to. And just go into the room. Now you shouldn't need to do anything, I mean if you want to collect anything that's fine. And then head back out of the room. And then when we killed this uh, big Brutus monster on the right here, you'll see that platform is now lowered down. This is awesome because now we can access the secret area. And you want to drop down in the, in the liquid, you may injure yourself there but don't worry. And you'll find this little secret compartment, little room uh, with a shotgun in, some ammo. And bam, once you enter that room, that'll give you the achievement number two, which is an important looking door. Find a secret area. And that's it for this one. So now what we want to do for the third achievement, just back out. Let's end the game here. And now back at the Doom menu, click on single player again. Level select. Again, the same as before, except we want to make sure the difficulty has hurt me plenty. Don't worry about this, fear not, it's not going to be difficult at all. And then I go ahead, start a new game. Same level as we've just done, same process pretty much. And you want to grab the suit of armor. Okay, it's probably the tiniest bit different, uh, a little bit more difficult, but honestly, you won't even notice it that much. And all we've got to do here is clear the entire set of enemies. So we should have two through this door now. So open the door. There you go, two instead of one like before. And they do take a few more hits. There'll be another one behind the door here in a second, so I'm just going to grab the ammo. And again, you can grab some more uh, armor if you need to. There'll be a guy here on the way through. There'll be uh, one on the ground floor, so let's go for him first. You hug this wall, the other guy can't get you. And then same process as before, just pop yourself out, aim in that direction. Uh, was much better than last time and he's dead he's done and that leaves us with just the one more behind this door again again it's no no more difficult than before so same process open the door plant him with as many bullets as you can dodges dodges flame thing a little bit more difficult to kill but nothing much again back ride right up if you need to open the door when you want and now this time we're going to go straight ahead and this is the final door basically and inside just pop this and bam that is going to give you make sure your kills are on 100 percent and that's going to give you the clean slate and that's basically kill all monsters any kill all monsters in any monster filled level on hurt me plenty or harder and that is it for this game we can now actually move on to what would be our fourth achievement and next game so let's go ahead and do that so now we are at the next game, and uh, before we do continue this, I, I forgot to even tell you what the extra uh, achievements were on the previous game. So, uh, on the previous game, if you kill a monster or enemy or whatever, uh, if you do it near the doorway, 
uh, where it comes down. If it actually comes down on an enemy, that will give you an achievement. So if he's already dead and he's lying in the doorway, that will give you the achievement for that. You don't have to kill him with the door. Um, and the other one um, is if you get another enemy or monster to kill uh, one of their own, basically if you like uh, have two in front of you and you uh, and the one at the back shooting try and make it so he's, he's aiming for you but he hits his own player uh, by accident and again that will give you another achievement so two little bonus ones which I forgot to mention in the last one so right next game we are armed with maquette I'm assuming it's spelled like that uh, pronounced like that should I say and uh, all four achievements the remaining four achievements are going to be in this one uh, so all we're going to do here is start up a brand new game and this game is beautiful by the way I've never seen this I've never seen this anywhere I started playing a little bit and uh, it is absolutely beautiful right so we're just gonna wait for the little cutscene here now, I believe you can skip cutscenes on this one I don't know the controls I don't know if this is classed as a cutscene or what but nonetheless, we'll let it ride through. And yes, this is a beautiful, beautiful game. All you need to do here, you'll start off in this area, just follow it all the way through. It's like a walking puzzle simulator thing. We're not going to read any of the words, but if you are playing it, I advise to check it out. Have a read, listen to what it says. If there's any like audio dialogue, I don't know. And then straight to the left here, you'll come across your first doorway. And this is going to get you your fourth achievement. And this is to uh, open the first door, basically. First of many doors. All you need to do is click on this left side here. And bam, it will just slide that lock out there. And we can literally just walk through the door. And that's going to give you the open sesame achievement. Open the first door of many doors. Right now we can continue and just get this level done. Once this level's done, that's going to give us the next achievement. Now, if you do want a little bonus achievement, just in case there's something you miss in this one, if you complete this level in under three minutes, um, you'll get another achievement for that. And the trick to that one is, is just skip the cutscenes, ignore all this, walk straight through. Like so, the, the level is super easy, by the way. So yeah, the key is to skip all the cutscenes, basically, to trim down the time, because that will that will count. So again, just walk, follow the path along. Doesn't seem to be very smooth. You see how rough it is when I'm sort of scanning left to right there. Maybe I need to tweak the settings a bit. I think that's a frame rate issue. It's probably not, not syncing up correctly, but... Maybe it's too high of frames, but we'll see. It's irrelevant anyway. Again, just walk through. See all these right and ignore all that. We're not going to do this in under three minutes. That's not the achievement we're after. We're just after the general completion of the game. So continue on, like so. Just follow the path and we will come to our next door now. Uh, if you look to the right before the door, there is a key at the very end. We can grab that. And it's obviously telling us what to do. Just pick it up, take it to the door, and then place it into the keyhole like so. If it lets us. Ah, wrong button. <laughs> it's a different button, so try a few buttons. Again, I'm on PC, so mouse and keyboard for me. PC for Game Pass, that is. Now, what we want to do here is take the key out with the same button we put it in. And then put the key in again. Like so. That might not work straight away. It was a little bit glitchy with me, I think. Previously. And that is it. So, if you want to grab the key, by all means. Uh, you can leave it in there as far as I'm aware. And just walk to the end now. Look how beautiful this is. This is amazing. Really got to check this game. This is quite old, I think. I'm sure it's an old game. I may be wrong there, but this is beautiful. This is going to get us our fifth achievement. 
Again, skip this cutscene if you can. There we go, we just managed to skip it. And that's going to give you the gardens. Basically, we've completed the gardens. So, again, if you want to run that for a bonus achievement as fast as you can, skip the first cutscene, the original one. Uh, skip everything you can and just whiz through that as fast as possible. Skip that final cutscene. Do it under three minutes and you'll get another bonus achievement for that. So we want to start level two. And now you're going to be introduced to this area with the dome again. And you'll see the large cube there. So for this one, you just want to go straight to the wonderful princess castle over there. And this is going to be for achievement number six. Now skip this cutscene. And then once you've skipped it, go back to the dome. And you'll see all this open up and this thing will disperse. So this first achievement, basically, the area we are in, as you can see, it's the pink dome, the little castle. If you look at this model in the middle here, this is actually a replica of what we're already in. This is exactly the same as where we are. It's just a miniature version. And you can see that cube there blocking that pathway and the cube there blocking the pathway. But what happens is if we pick up that cube, the cube's gone. Nice and easy. So pick up the cube and this is going to give us our six achievement. Just put it out in front of you like so. There should be a button that will allow you to do that. And then use the bumpers, uh, at least if you're on a console, left bumper and right bumper to rotate the cube like so. Super easy, just tinker about with it and then just drop it on the floor. Again, if it hasn't triggered the achievement for that, just keep messing around with it and it should work. And that should give you the precise placement achievement, rotated an item for a better fit. So that's that one done. Now, the next achievement. Now, I'm not 100% 100, 100 sure of what actually gave me this achievement, but I was sort of messing around with this cube quite a bit and um, I don't think this is a requirement but I was placing the cube over here so just as a, a guess place the cube sort of in between these two bridges it, it doesn't matter really it's not for the bridges it's not where the cube's supposed to go and resize your cube like so you see that and I think this is what's going to give you the achievement basically resize it drop it down I have read that uh, if you carry the cube around for a little bit, messing around, zooming in and out, that will give you the achievement. And basically that's going to give you the size manipulator achievement. Change the size of an object to solve a puzzle. Now just as a little backup here, if that doesn't give it your, again, just mess around for a few minutes on that one if you're struggling, if it doesn't pop straight away. However, if it doesn't work, head to the left side. This is where that big cube was located. Head to the left side. And you'll see we have this open area now drop down and then go back on yourself underneath and you will find this bridge piece here go ahead pick the bridge piece up hit the lever to bring us back up and then back towards the dome and you can actually do it on this so this should definitely uh, give you the achievement. So there's the dome and now to the left side of the dome You'll see this like little bridge that we need to get across So if you just place it out in front of you, I use the rotate buttons to get that uh, level and again use the resize thing like so and Then you can see the shadow on, or the light on the bottom there and then just press to drop it and you've resized it and I actually Definitely got the achievement by this point. So it was either the cube that gave me that or this that gave me that But one of the two will work and again that will give you the size manipulator achievement Basically change the size of an object to solve a puzzle. So possibly that bridge will give you if not the cube so And that's it guys. That is another week done and dusted uh, Stay tuned for more uh, another video coming next week. Of course every Monday uh, so stay tuned for that one. I am going to try and get a 100% uh, achievement guide out uh, for this week. However, I am away from Thursday until the Sunday. So, um, so I'm going to be limited on time this week. But uh, again, I'm going to try and get that sorted for you. And again, those who have asked for more achievements, they will be coming, I promise you. I'm, I'm looking forward to 
getting something for you every single week just like these weekly ones but better so all right thanks for watching guys have a good week and i will catch you in the next one so peace out Thank mm -hmm. you.